Coast and I'm back. Um, as you see, the name, the title of this video is, Is Prince the Greatest Rock Guitarist Ever? Um, and I'm only making this video because I had a conversation with a guy at work. And um, he kind of asked me like, well, first he, he comes into work. You know what I'm saying? I'm sitting there. I'm listening to old school UTFO. All right? Um, now, I've been there for years. Everybody know I'm a Prince fan. And he asked me, do I think Prince is the greatest artist of all time? And, and I just kind of looked at him like, and I said, yeah. Um... He said, as far as like guitars too, I said, really, you get into like another realm because um, I think Prince, to me, Prince is the greatest rhythm guitarist I've ever heard. Um, but he's an amazing rock guitarist, uh, jazz guitarist, acoustic guitarist. You know what I'm saying? He's amazing on those too. So he kind of says to me, like, well, how can he be your favorite artist and you saying he's the greatest of all time when you don't think he's the best rock guitarist? I said, I think he's a great and amazing rock guitarist. But that don't mean I'm compromising what I'm saying about Prince. You know, he's the greatest. So he went on to say, he started talking about like other guitars, like uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan, he thought was great. Um, Peter Frampton, uh, who else did he say? Uh, Slash, from Guns N' Roses. Um, your boy uh, Tom Morello from Rage Against the Machine. You know what I'm saying? I thought, I said, I think all these guys are great guitars. You know what I'm saying? So he said, who is the best rock guitarist to you? I said Jimi Hendrix, period, point blank. And I've had this conversation with many people. You know, uh, the difference between Prince and Jimi and what I think sets both of them apart is that if you've ever listened to any footage or heard, seen any footage of Jimi Hendrix and people who talk about Jimi Hendrix, and uh, the making of albums. Um, yes, Jimi Hendrix was a great guitarist. He could play the guitar. But Jimi could not put together a song from A to Z. You understand what I'm saying? Prince can put together a song from A to Z and be done with it. You know what I'm saying? But as far as that guitar work, you know what I'm saying? I think Jimi is a better guitarist than Prince. I really do. Um, I, I must admit, though, Prince is definitely in, like, my top five uh, rock guitarists anyway. Um, you know, and, and then I have brought up, like, a few guitarists. You know, like, people like he ain't never heard of. Like, for instance, um, no one ever mentions Eddie Hazel. You know, and when I mention Eddie Hazel, he had no clue who Eddie Hazel was. So then I mentioned Funkadelic. He said, what is that? I said, Parliament. He said, what is that? Then I said, George Clinton. He said, oh, the Atomic Dog. And I'm just sitting there in disbelief. And I had to explain to him that George Clinton was part of both of these groups. Eddie Hazel was... The guitars and Eddie Hazel was great you know what I mean and it, it just like totally went over his head you know what I mean so then there again in itself I get hit with the Michael Jackson question you know what I'm saying I'll admit when I was young growing up see I've been listening to Prince since 82 so when I was young and growing up, you know, the Prince Michael Wars, you know what I'm saying? It was like on and popping. And you know what I'm saying? We would 
talk all night about who we thought was greater, Prince or Michael. And you know the arguments would ensue. You know what I'm saying? Some people be ready to fight over this. You know what I mean? But I've grown a little. You know what I'm saying? Definitely, definitely grown a little. You know what I'm saying? Um, whenever I'm, I'm always hit with the Prince of Michael question. Always, like from somebody once a month, hits me with the Prince and Michael question. Michael Jackson was great. He was outstanding. Do I think Michael Jackson is better than Prince? No. No, I don't. But I like Michael's work. Michael has made great work. You know what I'm saying? He's in my top five artists of all time. You know what I'm saying? So it's like when, when people mention Michael and Prince, what they tend to do is, you know what I'm saying, is, is mention record sales. Uh, Thriller was hot. You know, uh, and, and it was. Thriller was hot. Like, there's no doubt about that. Thriller was hot. But these are things that they tend to mention to prove how popular Thriller was. Okay, we know how popular Thriller was. Thriller was great. Then I said, look, ask me if you do I think that's Michael Jackson's greatest album. He said, well, do you think Thriller's Michael Jackson's greatest album? I said, no. You know what I'm saying? There, there's some work by Michael, you know what I'm saying, that I think tearing all that shit up off of the Triumph album. I think the Triumph album is better than Thriller. And then, of course, he ain't listened to the Triumph album yet, y'all. Like, come on, man. So I'm like, who the hell am I talking to? So then, you know, and, and God bless Prince fans. Prince fans, you know what I'm saying, sometimes get so emotional over this stuff. Even Michael fans. They get so emotional over this stuff. I've heard things about people on Facebook getting kicked out of groups because they were Prince fans, but they also like Michael. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's the purpose of that? What's the purpose of that? You know what I'm saying? The, the, the purpose is if, if something is good and something is naturally pleasing to your ears, then why not listen to it? Why all the beef? You know what I'm saying? We can debate, you know what I'm saying, about Prince and Michael all day. You know what I'm saying? But when it gets to the point where it gets emotional and you know what I'm saying, you know, you're feeling butthurt and all that shit, you know, it's like, what's the point? You know what I'm saying? What do you gain from that? Like, if I wasn't a Michael fan, you haven't proven to me why I should even be listening to Michael. But I can prove to you why you should be listening to Prince. You see what I'm saying? And God bless Prince fans. They're emotional like that, too. You know. But when it comes to this guitar thing, Prince fans need to understand that Prince has a style that was used by many guitars in the 70s. You know what I'm saying? Um, guys like, you know, especially Jimmy. Especially Jimmy. You know what I mean? Even like B.B. King, Carlos Santana. You know what I'm saying? You listen to Prince work, you can hear all these artists in there. <coughs> and you know, that ain't no Prince this, but you know, that's what it is. So, then the conversation, it, it shifted from Michael back to Prince and guitar playing. And I'm just like, dude, man, look, I just don't like rock and rock guitar. I like all kinds of the guitar. I think B.B. King definitely was one of the best blues guitar players. Um, Eric Clapton as well. There's a man by the name of Robert Johnson from Mississippi. And... A lot of blues players and jazz players, you know what I'm saying, guitar, you know, 
took from him, you know what I'm saying? And he was like more relevant in the 60s doing like civil rights movement and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? They took from him and guitarists today don't even know that they're playing like Robert Johnson. You know what I'm saying? He was one of the greatest. You know what I mean? Um, and then, of course, he didn't know who Robert Johnson was. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. It's just amazing that that sometimes, especially with when you are, you are a fan of something and you are, like, true about somebody's craft, that people think that you're not allowed to like something else. You know what I mean? You know, I've even seen in like some Prince groups, you know what I'm saying, where people were clearly Prince fans, but if you post something about Michael Jackson, they leave the group. And it's like, why? You know what I'm saying? Why are you carrying on this age on beef when really the beef really shouldn't even be between Prince and Michael? No, 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 no. To me, the beef was with Madonna and Michael. Those were the two who should have been pinty against each other. But that's another video. That's another video. You know what I'm saying? But, like, Prince fans act like that. Michael fans act like that. You know, and I just don't get it. And, you know, like I said, I was that guy back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Arguing, fighting, and cursing about why Prince is greater than Michael. When the truth is, Michael is great. He is, or was, and still is. You know what I'm saying? And then and then the, the conversation kind of ended on a weird note. Because then he asked me if I had to pick two artists that I thought was equal to Prince, you know what I'm saying, who would they be? I said Stevie Wonder and uh, Miles Davis. And he said to me, who is Miles Davis? And I did just like this. Get out. Just just go. Just go. Just go, cuz. You know what I'm saying? Because that's like, like I, and, and I hate talking to people when they don't know what you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was almost like a conversation like, I don't know nothing about cars. All I know is what it takes them to get them fixed. Now, I'm not going to be talking about no car. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what I'm talking about. So if I hear two people talking about cars, I don't even open my mouth. I just sit there and listen. You know what I'm saying? It's not, this is almost like what this conversation was about. You know what I'm saying? Um, the dude, he, it seemed like he was just totally pretentious. You know what I'm saying? And what he actually was trying to do was, you know, try to get up under my skin a little bit. But, you know what I'm saying? He almost got me there. He almost got me. But it didn't work. You know what I'm saying? Um, again, and then I reiterated to him, like, Jimi Hendrix is the baddest guitarist ever. It's my opinion. And just because I think Prince is the greatest. I think Prince is the greatest all around artist. You know what I'm saying? He took everybody's shit and kind of made his own sound with it. You know what I'm saying? And at the time, it was different. And then I think he's the greatest rhythm guitar player. You don't believe he's the greatest rhythm guitar player. Listen to 1999. Um, you can actually listen to the Prince album. You know what I'm saying? To hit great rhythm guitar. You know what I mean? So, and that's just where I'm at with it. But again, Prince is a great guitarist. I just think Jimmy better. That's it. But Prince is my favorite because he's the all around everything. You know what I mean? In, in one package. You know, so what y'all think about this, people? You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the homeboy CMS. You know what I'm saying? The homie Coach Mike. Shout out to them. You know what I'm saying? But what y'all think about this, people? You know what I'm saying? Who do you think the greatest guitarist of all time is?